there is a big question, what information is conveyed in animal communication? I've always dreamt of a Doolittle machine that will allow me to talk with animals. Specifically, I'm interested in bat uh, vocal communication. How can you make any sense of what they are saying to each other? Just a few steps from the Crowder's Highway in Israel, there's a secret kingdom of bats. My goal is to understand it. So there are hundreds of bats maybe vocalizing at the same time. And one of the major questions we are interested in is how, you know, in this cacophony, in this, uh, sometimes we call it a cocktail party, if we think of humans, how can you make any sense of what they are saying to each other with so much background noise? One of the main questions that we're interested in is what kind of information do these uh, bad vocalizations convey? The open colony that we have here in Tel Aviv University is a very unique bat colony because the bats roost in our colony, but they are free. And the advantage is that we call them around the clock. So we constantly record them. Everything is uh, covered with foam, so the recordings are perfect in terms of their acoustics. I think there are several major challenges in fulfilling uh, our aspiration of talking with animals. So first of all, there are technical challenges. If you want to use AI, usually you need to annotate, you need large databases. We're teaching the computer how to define between the different sounds and how to recognize what each sound means when we can hear it. For example, here, these are mating sounds. Okay, here they're eating. We just need to spend days watching all the hours of movies and we teach the AI how to differentiate between the different sounds. In the end, the computer will be able to speak the language to understand what they say to each other. So what you can see here is a translator that we built. So where you will see sequences of vocalizations running on the screen, okay? Up here, these are a, what we call the time signal of the vocalizations. And then the machine will process each sequence. And down here, we will see the decoding. What was the context of the interaction? Okay, so the machine is processing and this was an interaction about food. We're now looking at the long-term social interactions between bats in the lab, so we can place this decoder in the room where the bats are uh, interacting and automatically detect what they are interacting about. I doubt if I will ever see such a machine in my lifetime, but AI is definitely taking us in that direction.